So this year, we're headed to upstate New York to celebrate Christmas with Eric's very big Italian family, and I'm in charge of making an appetizer. So I was racking my brain for some Italian traditional Christmas appetizer, and I stumbled upon bagna cauda. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but it translates into hot bath. And it's exactly that. You basically dunk raw veggies and slightly boiled veggies and bread into this hot bath of olive oil mixed with a ton of garlic and anchovies. It's kind of like a fondue, but the Italian way, and it's so much better. So let's get started. It all starts with your veggies. Veggies are really key. You want to go all out, make a ton of veggies, cut them all up. So I'm gonna be doing some cold and I'm going to be boiling some of them because I kinda of like having some raw and some slightly steamed. So I have some cut up cucumbers, some radishes, and then carrots, cauliflower, and broccolini that I'm going to, to boil just until they're nice and al dente and warm. So you can choose whatever winter veggies you want. Anything is really good with this. So you're gonna set aside those and it's time to work on our garlic, which is one of the key ingredients for our banya cauda. I love saying it, so fun. So I have some peeled garlic cloves here that I'm gonna show you how to peel an entire head of garlic in just a minute. Easy peasy. Last step is I like to remove the little knob end of the garlic, just so it's nice and perfect. That's a little tough. So, it's time to take all my cloves and I'm gonna pop them in this tiny little fun food processor. You could use a full-sized one if you have one. And then I'm just gonna add my olive oil, quite a lot because that's the base of our banya cota. Cauda, 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 cauda. <laughs> plug it in. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pop the top on and give it a whiz, just enough for the garlic cloves to mince in our olive oil. You don't want it just completely uniform and smooth. A little mince is good. And then I'm gonna pour it all, all its goodness, right into a big pan. Time to get cooking. Let's go over to the stove. We are at the stove. I have my olive oil and my garlic in my pan and I'm going to turn the heat to low heat, very low. You just want it low and slow gonna sizzle a little bit, it's gonna bubble a little bit, and you're gonna let it go for about 15 minutes just so the garlic softens. You don't want it to start caramelizing. Look at those little bubbles. Just give it a nice stir every once in a while. So it's been about 15 minutes and it's time to add our anchovies to the mix. So I just have some anchovies, anchovy fillets, and olive oil, and you're just going to remove all your anchovies from the little can. Try not to get any of that extra oil in there, just the anchovies. I'm just gonna take two forks and just kind of break up the anchovies into little bits. And then you're just gonna let it cook again on low heat for about 10 to 15 more minutes, just until those anchovies melt into your garlic oil. So we have about five, six, seven minutes left. 
for this to cook off. So I'm gonna add my raw veggies into a pot here to steam. And I just like to steam them for a little bit just to kind of cook off the rawness, not to cook them all the way through. And I can't resist. Just a little butter. Takes this to a whole nother level. The butter just adds a slight creaminess and richness. That is just everything. It's almost time. I'm so excited. We have our raw veggies here, cucumbers and radishes. I have some bread, which you gotta have bread with this. It's better than the veggies. And then I have my just steamed to al dente veggies. And I'm just gonna take my cute little mini tongs and I'm gonna add them to our board just like this. It's so steamy. <laughs> I have a cute little ramekin. If you have a little bowl that you can sit over a flame, that would be even better to keep this nice and warm. But it's fine to just serve it right in a little ramekin or bowl for dipping. It's time. A little broccolini. Get right in there. Gotta get that garlic and that anchovy. Something that is so simple can be this good. Salty, briny, so garlicky in the best way possible. Honestly, everything on this bread is going to go so well. I can't wait to dig in. Check this out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. You know that. <laughs>